here. Did I say, let, so let's do this, let's bang this out. Highway 11 bridge, then run up towards the grass beds on the North Shore. I saw that too, yeah. Yeah. You know, you gotta think that big trout you caught earlier though, like, okay, if she's here, her entourage should be here too. All right, fish, just get bigger. Oh, my, my bad, dude, I thought you were more to the, yeah, I just, I got hit right away. Maybe not. Oh no, that, yes, that's what we came for. Ooh. Did you see that? <laughs> did you see that? I did. He was chasing to hit it at the side of the right boat. Up, right before it pulled out. Yeah. So I'm it, watching yours, I'm getting wrecked I could probably tie a loop in mine, but whatever. Whoa, oh, I see that. Set. Is that a shrimp? That was a shrimp. That was a shrimp, dude. Dude. We got shrimp. Yeah, he's he's close if he makes it. Yeah. Or that black back or whatever, I don't know, but they're definitely Definitely hitting that. I'm about to tie something different on. Or or an eighth ounce jig head. There we go. Look at that. Mirror lure boys and girls. Now this is a Seth Fighter, uh, Daiwa Tatula Elite Seth Fighter jerk bait rod with a uh, Daiwa Tatula SV and an eight to one gear ratio. Especially if you're just a jerk bait, twitch bait aficionado, it is a great rod just for that. Some rods and reels you just pick up for a certain technique and it's like, oh, that is it. That is what I've been looking for. Are you a keeper? Do, do, do. Yes. Yes. Welcome to the club, buddy. They're, they're there. So this is a situation where, dude, he was chasing it. All right, guys and gals, folks at home, boys and girls, this is a situation where you start playing with color and retrieve and this is where you start changing things up because they're here. We know that they're feeding. We saw them chasing jumping shrimp. They're chasing our lures to the boat, but not always committing to them. That's when you start changing things up. Dude, I watched him come up and hit it. I watched him come. Oh, dude, that was a keeper too. That was a nice fish. See, they're doing that to, I need, a, I need to see if I have a color like that. This is why when you have your fishing buddy with you, you throw different colors too. You don't throw the same color unless you're dialed in and you're just whacking the crap out of them. Man, I got so many different things, that, but none of them are like what you're rocking and rolling with. Might go, this is a heavy dyno, no, that's gonna sink. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. The boat. Dude, right there. Keeper. Wow. Dude, good job, man. Now, nice. Isn't that, isn't that weird? 
It was like four to one keepers on that. Switch to this. Two keepers in a row. I don't know. Dude, you are. Oh, that might have been the side. Yep. Second one I think got on. Oh, dude, two at a time. That's like the hallmark of a fishing trip. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. It might actually both be keepers. <laughs> They're going to be close. The top one is. Dude, good job, man. I don't have a double rig rigged up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that happen real quick, like. Yeah. So going back, going back to the whole lure color thing, you would really want to use your uh, more clear colors in more clear water. You wouldn't use a color like this in really dirty water. You would use it if, if that's what they're biting, but uh, I, I say that kind of satirically, right? You really want to throw something like this in cleaner water, and that's what we have here. So I'm throwing a double rig. So rather than throwing two of the same color, I'm going <gasps> to. Did you see that? No. Speckle tried to just merch something right there, dude. Uh, throw two different colors on the double rigs. That way you can see what they like best. So if you catch, you make five casts and they only bite one color, five casts in a row, well, then you've got your answer. Another double. Another double. Another double. Yeah. Oh yeah! Dude, Adam Shields in the house. <laughs> Guys, Captain Adam Shields, Black Dog Charters. He is, he is definitely uh, showing, showing us how it's done right now because if I were fishing in the same way that I were, I would not have put as many fish in the boat. This is why you bring fishing buddies who know what's up. Adam knows what's up. Dude, this is very easy, very easy style of fishing. Ooh. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> But uh, remember when I was talking to you about cylinder tables? Yeah. I don't know what they are today, but that pattern I found in the past was you'd have this big, big, big cylinder table. Yeah. I got dialed in. It was you're, so you're big on the cylinder tables. For the Lake Ponce train, I am. For Lake Ponce train, okay. Very much so. Watch, I have two hard heads. Oh, nice fish. <laughs> Double gaff top. Double gaff top. Dude, I was All right. Pick that fish off. I'm just trying to untangle this. I'm going to get right out there. I'm not even going to mess with that fish. Guys, when you're on the fish, just get your bait back out there. Don't even worry about, you know, getting him in the cooler or, or measuring him or whatever. Just get that bait back out there because we are crushing them right now. Come on, second fish. Come on, second fish. We need a second fish. Okay, I got the second fish. Oh, he came off. Oh, the keeper came off. He came off. Light. There we go. Speckle trap. Speckle trap taco son. Taco life. More keeper speckle trout. Keeper here too. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. It's switch the second one. Stop jumping out the water. Stop that. Don't come off the hook. Bass taught him that. But yeah, it works for us all the time. Dude, he absolutely slam hammered this bait. Man, look at that pretty fish. Absolutely gorgeous. The bite is still going steady. Taco trout. Still catching keepers. There we go. Oh, dude. Right there in front of the boat. Oh, that's a double. Oh, <laughs> Guys, this double rig. Double rig's done pretty good today, but if you could pick two colors to put on a double rig, what would those two colors be? Let us know in the comments below. Dude, I, I, I miss being dialed in like that. Dude, I really miss being dialed in like that, man. I haven't been dialed in. Like I can find fish from scratch, but like to know what they're doing and thinking and 
what's going on and, and especially be dialed in on fish that aren't in community holes all right like out in the Biloxi marsh or something there we go trying to load up on that second one no second one. Oh, I think I got just second one. Guy, I'm pretty sure I just got a second one. Or he got bigger. There's no second one. Dag nabbit hit the ultraviolet. Look at that, guys. Man, it's another beautiful, beautiful speckled trout. He's still biting. That one feels a little bit better. That or he's foul hooked. The, the, the old foul hook 10 incher. <laughs> oh yeah, boy. Chad Champagne from Matrix Chad has joined us and I think he brought with him the keeper speckled trout. I don't know, maybe the man just got something to help some catch fish around here. Yeah, I, I'm fine with that. Bam, baby. Get down there a little bit faster. I had a 16 ounce. Where'd it go? Where'd I put it? This is what I was using in some of that shallower water. It's a matrix shad and magneto, but this is not a bare hook. There's just a 16 ounce lead built into its body. It's ribbed really, really uh, aggressively, so that way it keeps the plastic on. But that makes a really, really slow fall and this water that has that little bit of aquatic grass in it. So it works kind of like a, like a mirrodine or like a suspending bait, but it's a smaller three inch soft plastic. And we know that the speckled trout really like that profile of matrix chance, that's why we throw it. Now, as to whether or not this guy is 12 inches, I don't think so, because he's not 12 inches. But we're still catching, all right? Oh, dude, I'm gonna take you out. I'm sure that there's. Oh, dude, dude, he just had a double get off. Dude, when I was in, laughing so hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. Hmm, we might be back on that suspending bait bite. Hmm. He's, he's close, I'm, I'm gonna toss him back anyway. All right, how much longer do you wanna do this? All right guys, so we probably caught, I have no idea, anywhere from like 20 to 30 redfish, oh, 20 to 30 redfish. I'm brain dead right now. 20 to 30 speckled trout. Uh, we'll know for sure when we count them up later, but uh, what we're gonna do here is, just because the, the bite's kind of petered out, is continue to cast around, try to figure out if maybe we can pull a full, few more keepers out, maybe the bite will come back or whatever. And then then we're gonna leave here. We could probably go up and look at grass beds uh, on other shorelines here on Lake Poncha Train and maybe find some redfish there or even more speckled trout. So we'll cast around a little bit more here, then we'll move out and see what else happens. All right. Oh. All right, guys. The bites fizzled out. It's time to move on. Maybe find some speckled trout somewhere else or a redfish bite. Let's see what we get into. There we go. All right, let's take a ride. Mm -hmm. 